This video shows how you integrate a decision service running on the decision management platform into a web application built in FICO Application Studio. The platform provides a standard way to call the business rules, predictive models, and other services that make up a decision management solution, so it's easy to orchestrate them into your business processes and applications. We'll build a simple application that lets a user fill in a form in a web browser and then pass that data to a predictive model that produces a score and reason codes for the score. Those values are then displayed in another form on the web page. While the example is simplistic, it shows how easy it is to use decision services with your applications. Let's take a look at the solution in the decision management platform. Solutions are collections of components that are used together to solve a specific business problem. Our example solution has just one component. Each component has a drop-down menu with the commands for managing that component. Click the View Links command to access the URLs to the endpoints that client applications use to access the component's decision service. We'll copy the URL so we can use it to create a web reference in our FICO Application Studio application. Security is critical for your services, so the platform requires that all service requests be properly authorized. Click on the key icon next to the solution name to get the security information you need to authorize the requests. Now we'll open up FICO Application Studio and build the web application. We'll create a new web application, give it a name, save it, and create a new eSpace module where we'll create the pages and logic that interact with the component. First we'll add the web reference to the component by pasting in the URL that we copied earlier. Once we have the web reference, we can create the forms and widgets that interact with the component. We'll add a form for the input values, a button to submit the values, and a form to hold the values that are returned by the component. When the page is structured, we can add the logic to interact with your component. We'll add authentication, by using the security values we got from the solution. Then we'll invoke the business method from the web reference by passing it values from the form widget on the web page. We'll assign the values returned by the component to the other form. Lastly, we'll add an AJAX refresh so that the form updates efficiently. Now we can publish the application to the web server. And access the page from a browser.